I'm Ashley Kyle and this is your Late TV News Update. This weekend, thousands of festival goers watch Sassy and Strutter salute turkey farmers during the 27th Annual Turkey Festival in Eldon. The event began with the turkey trot and gobble wobble run walk just before the annual parade got underway. The parade featured Miss Miller County, Little Miss and Mr. Turkey Days, and floats created by local businesses, dignitaries, and residents. The Eldon City streets were packed with crowds all day for live music, games, performances, and of course, turkey cooked every way imaginable. The annual event pays tribute to turkey farmers, one of the core industries in the Eldon area. The most hardcore paddlers in the country took to the waters of Lake of the Ozarks this weekend for two damn days. Competitors tested their endurance paddling 90 miles from Truman Dam to Bagnell Dam. Neil Fleming of Ireland took the first place in the men's solo. Sandy Yonley of Texas won the women's solo. Matt Dressesler and Uncle A-Dog from Missouri crossed the finish line first in the men's tandem. And Tracy Martin and Marilyn Seaman, also from Missouri, won the women's tandem. Olympian Mike Herbert holds the chorus record. An injury kept him out of the race this year. Two Damn Days has become one of the most challenging and profitable races in the country for kayakers. Fall means fishing at Lake of the Ozarks. This past weekend, two bass tournaments let lures fly. Local fisherman Marcus Sycora of Osage Beach took first place in the American Bass Anglers Tournament. Sycora caught 10 fish in two days, weighing 29.94 pounds to win. He also caught the big bass of the tournament at 6.12 pounds. Dennis G. Meyer of Baldwin, Missouri won the co-angler division. In the other tournament this weekend, fishermen landed lunkers for a good cause in the 2012 Charity Buddy Bass Tournament. Terry Blankenship and Mike Malone won first place, catching five fish for a total of 15.97 pounds. Andy Newcomb landed the big bass of the day at 5.45 pounds, and Brock Anderson caught a 5.21 pounder as second largest fish. The tournament was organized by Elks Lodge 2517 in Osage Beach. The woman charged with the beating death of a 28-month-old toddler in 2008 was found guilty Friday in Laclede County Court. It took the jury only three hours of deliberation after a five-day trial to find Cheryl Patrick of Tuscumbia guilty of second-degree murder and felony child abuse in the death of Alexis Ward. The jury recommended 20 years in prison for each count. Circuit Judge Stan Moore will decide during final sentencing on December 3, 2012, whether the sentences will run consecutively or concurrently. Patrick was 19 years old when she killed Alexis Ward. It's 15 years in prison for the man arrested for robbing the Max Creek Bank in 1999. Joel Davis pled guilty to the crime after a DNA sample he gave to a Camden County detective in 2009 matched DNA taken from the pantyhose he wore over his head during the crime 10 years earlier. Davis was sentenced to 15 years for the robbery and was given an additional four years for armed criminal action. New signs will go up on Highway 54 after MoDOT and the City of Osage Beach reached an agreement regarding Osage Beach Parkway. Business owners have complained to the city that the road formerly known as Highway 54 was renamed poorly. In response, MoDOT and the city have lengthened the name. Signs indicating Osage Beach Parkway will also say Business 54. The change should be completed by the next summer season. To make the city's good news even better, MoDOT said it would pay for the sign project on Highway 54. Old Kinderhook Golf Course is preparing to build a 45-room boutique hotel and convention center near the golf course in Camdenton. They cleared a major hurdle in September, receiving the go-ahead from the Camden County Planning and Zoning Board and County Commissioners. Old Kinderhook representatives say the hotel will help the golf course extend its season into the winter months. The new facilities will contain meeting rooms, a fitness center, and an indoor pool and spa. This summer's drought threatened to rob Missourians of their beautiful fall foliage, but the Missouri Department of Conservation says the recent rains may preserve the golds, reds, and yellows that make the season beautiful. Northern Missouri can typically expect to see hints of color in early October, with the rest of the state following by the middle of the month. But the MDC says because of the drought, this year the colors could come sooner. After a message from Sir Dyke Yamaha, we'll be back to bring all the fun and festivities coming this weekend. Stay with us. In the world of ATVs, there's tough. Then there's Yamaha, real world tough. For the most rutted out trails, the hardest working farms, and the most remote hunting terrain, Yamaha Grizzly ATVs with EPS. Real. World. Tough.
now's the time to save at the Yamaha Time to Ride sales event. The city of Versailles will host 30,000 visitors to the 33rd annual Old Time Apple Festival this Saturday. The festivities begin downtown at 9 o'clock a.m. The Old Time Apple Festival has expanded over the years to include a variety of events and attractions. A 10K walk Saturday morning, a parade with high school bands, floats, clowns, and classic cars, hundreds of booths offering goods and food, a kid zone for the little one, live blues, jazz, country, and gospel music. The Apple Festival is a must-attend event to discover the best for sales has to offer. Just down the road, Jacob's Cave will hold its famous fall swapping days Thursday through the weekend between Versailles and Gravelly Mills. Tens of thousands of buyers, traders, and lookers will visit the Jacob Cave Meadowlands for the event as more than 800 vendors set up shop to swap. Expect to find farm animals, homemade crafts, goods, foods, collectibles, and antiques. The gates open from 6 o'clock a.m. until 11 o'clock p.m. Thursday through Saturday and from 6 o'clock a.m. to noon on Sunday. Admission is $5 per vehicle each day. One monster fish can earn you thousands of dollars this weekend as the Big Bash Bash returns to Lake of the Ozarks. No professional fishermen allowed. Only amateurs get to cast for more than $200,000 in cash awards. First place for the weekend will make $60,000 and a total of 200 places will get paid. Weigh-in will be held bi-hourly Saturday and Sunday at Public Beach No. 2, Red Oak Resort, Alhana Resort, and Red Fox Bar and Grill. For registration details, visit MidwestFishTournaments.com. Also Saturday, the Ozark Yacht Club will hold the 4th Annual Ozark Cup Regatta. Sailboats will race a 5-mile course beginning from the Yacht Club to the 3.5-mile marker and back. Depending on weather conditions, two or three races may be held. Spectators and volunteer crew members are welcome to this free event. Tuesday, October 9th, the Osage Beach Elks Lodge will host Totes for Tatas, a benefit for Lake Regional Cancer Center. The event will feature silent and live auctions and a raffle. Donations of new or gently used purses, totes, and wallets for the event are being accepted at the Lake Regional Cancer Center and other local businesses. Golfers, remember, we're right in the middle of golf week now through October 7th. Visit any of the Lake of the Ozarks Golf Trail's 13 courses. Golf Week's main event is the Golf Week Fall Invitational, a two-day tournament at the Oaks at Tantara Resort and Osage National Golf Resort. Dogwood Hills Golf Resort is hosting a free PGA clinic, and the Fall Pro-Am Tournament is to book in the week. For details about these tournaments and more, visit golfweekonthetrail.com. Now for all of you looking for live entertainment this Friday and Saturday, here's the list. Stay tuned. Up next is the High School Player Spotlight brought to you by Summit Natural Gas. I'm Ashley Kyle and this is your Lake TV News Update.